Hey there, I'm Sarah, and today we're going to take a look at the web UI for Rivet.stream. If you haven't already, it's time to sign up for that Rivet account at Rivet.stream. Once you've done that, go to Create Stream. From here, we'll want to set up the network transversal. Rivet's designed to have a contributor behave as an SRT caller, both for their camera feed and their return feed. This means that you'll only need to set up port forwarding on the network for the control room. So in most cases, your contributor camera and program feed will be on the same public IP address, just on different ports. And just a quick tip, if you don't know how to find your public IP address, go to speedtest.net or just simply Google, what's my IP? Now add your IP info into the contributor camera field and make sure that same as contributor camera is selected. Adjust the port setting to match the port forwards you've set up in the router and you're good to go. You can also choose if you want Rivet to be one way or bi-directional by enabling or disabling the contributor camera or program feed. Video signal tweaking is always on a case by case basis depending on network conditions and workflow. After running a speed test, adjust the latency settings to about two times the ping, though sometimes you need to add more latency to increase that video quality. You can also adjust the video resolution and bitrate according to the available network speeds. You can also take the time now to set encryption, which I highly recommend. That way, you can reset access to the ports on your router by simply changing the password here. Finally, here at the bottom, there's an option for expiration. This will delete the stream at a certain time as to not clutter your Rivet workspace. Once you hit create stream, navigate back to your streams and locate the new one. From this point, you can copy a URL that will generate a Rivet download link for your participant, or simply launch Rivet on your computer directly from the device. Finally, if you don't want to send a link, you can always read off that Rivet ID to the contributor who has the app already downloaded. They can simply connect to your stream by inputting that Rivet ID. And there you have it. That's how you set up your backend for Rivet. Happy broadcasting.